What's up guys, we're at Ludus Magnus Gym and uh, today 10 sets of 525, five reps each. I know it's gonna be tough. Last week we did 500 for 500 for 10 sets, five reps. It's like formulas, like all these uh, equations coming together, you know? So by the time I get done with this, I'm gonna be uh, like, I, I am, I'm gonna be a mathematician and I'm gonna, I'm gonna solve time travel. Whenever I open my eyes, I see mathematic equations popping up. Obviously, the first set always stands out. It's, it's somewhat of a way to kind of gauge what the rest of the workout is gonna feel like. There's times where, you know, the first couple sets felt extremely heavy, and there was times that when I, whenever I felt that, that I didn't, you know, push myself through the rest of the workout. But today, um, it was, I was like, I, I wasn't for sure. So I would talk myself through this. I would, I would say things to kind of like boost myself up, you know. Moving back trucks. Yeah, set five is like the midway point. Every set that you do that's out of the way, you're still gauging like, well, I got five more sets left, or I got four more sets left. How's that gonna feel? Because you're, you're checking everything. You're looking at, you're thinking about like, are you straining any muscles? Because if you somewhat tweak the wrong muscle, it could end the rest of the workout. Seriously, there's been times where I've thought so much, I took myself out of it. You know, I did some kind of weird quirk and, and, and tweaked the pec, and it stopped me from completing the rest of the workout. So from, from set five to set eight, I was just thinking, make sure that I maintain the bar speed, uh, especially the first rep. The first rep is what matters the most. Now I'm still trying to maintain bar speed through all of the sets, especially through those sets because at that time I'm really starting to uh, feel fatigued. So I'm really fatiguing the muscle and uh, that's the best time to really start building, um, building muscle is whenever you're past the surface muscles and you're getting all the other motor units activated because you are uh, fatiguing. So a lot of times I catch myself breathing out, exhaling um, at the bottom of the rep. So think about it, when you're exhaling and you're breathing out at the bottom of the rep where the bar is down here, you got five, 500 plus on the bar and you're already exhaling. So it seems to sink a little deeper. So even if it's an inch and I'm, I'm sinking a little deeper, that's another inch that I have to, that of, 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 of path added onto my travel, to the path of travel. So instead of if big chest and you're traveling from here to here, whenever I'm, I'm exhaling, that's another inch to two inches from exhaling. So you wanna maintain your tightness, big chest, keep those lats retracted and, and, and shorten the, uh, the distance of travel of the bar. So we wanna go from, from here to here to here, not here to here heaving and come in here. Because a lot of times, competition, they'll call you for that. I'm sinking, which is causing my elbows to tuck. And we want to keep the elbows like right under the bar, like stacked under the bar. That's where I get the most leverage at. You this is down to a science at this point, especially when we're talking about an 800 pound bench. And I know I keep reiterating that over and over again, about an 800 pound bench, about an 800 pound bench. Well, guys, that's the goal. That's the goal is, to, to be the first man in history to bench press 800 pounds. You gotta realize, when you're talking about somebody bench pressing 800 pounds, you're talking about uh, somewhat of like a human being on a space shuttle to Mars. That's what you're talking about. Like it's never, I mean like people thought about it, but like as far as physically even getting there, like nobody's ever really thought about a human taking it that far. And that's how far we're gonna take it. Uh, he gave me some salt tabs because uh, sodium helps whenever you are 
um, experiencing um, cramps. So it kind of buffers the cramp. And, you know, so it started to subdue within like four or five minutes. My chest really started to get tight. Um, Cause the more you lose tightness in your back, the more chest you're gonna use, so my chest takes over. Whenever I'm starting to fatigue, the form breaks down. It's, I mean, you see it, it's universal, it's all across the board. Anytime a person fatigues, their form breaks down. So when my form breaks down, I lose tightness in my back, which causes me to use more of my chest. And my chest is so tight because using more of my chest kind of takes my, somewhat takes my triceps out of the equation. And triceps are huge when it comes to locking out. So as you've seen, my chest was tight, form started breaking down, I, didn't, I wasn't utilizing my triceps as much as I should because of my chest was compensating, which caused me to almost, on the ninth set, my, my form is breaking down. So we're getting to the point to where we're breaking down every single uh, flaw that's in my bench press. Right now, what, through, through my programming with Jailhouse Strong, we are um, exploiting the weaknesses. Matt has been a huge asset uh, also as just having eyes to be able to see what I'm doing wrong. Um, so we're all working together to get me to this 800 pound bench press. So, man, I'm forever grateful for these opportunities. So guys, we made it to the finish line. I get donuts. No, serious, on a serious note, shout out to my team at Elevate. Shout out to Ludus Magnus Gym with Matt Winning, uh, Winning Strength. Um, shout out to all my sponsors. Man, sometimes we limit ourselves. We limit um, what our potential is. And again, that, that mental block, that obstacle, we have to fight over that. Uh, as you've seen towards the end of my sets, uh, between seven, eight, and nine, like I was at a point to where, like mentally, my body was telling me to uh, give up that enough's enough. Especially that last set, it was like, man, you've done enough. It's okay to just just give it up and, and, and we'll come back next week. And that's how, that, that's the difference between somebody who's, who's just good and somebody who actually achieves greatness is pushing yourself further than you did the day before or the week before. Um, we have to continue to be uh, productive, not just in the physical realm, but uh, mentally. And that's, it's okay if you struggle with that. It's okay if you struggle with that. Um, we all we all get in seasons where we struggle with uh, depression, being um, low in spirits, but the only way to overcome that is cut out distractions in your life. Uh, not just distractions, but watch who you surround yourself with and, and continue to push yourself. You Sometimes you have to force yourself physically to get up out of the position you're in and move past it. That's the only way you're gonna be able to conquer and, 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 and reach, uh, like uh, attain greatness and success. Um, giving up on your dreams is hard. Seriously, giving up on those things is, is very hard, but also being successful and achieving your dreams is just as hard. Sometimes you have to pick your heart, and I promise you, it's worth going through whatever obstacle, whatever adversity that you're gonna face when you're uh, in, in, in route to achieving your dreams and being successful. Guys, it's worth it, I promise you. Pain is temporary. It hurts far more worse giving up on your dreams than actually pushing yourself to achieve those dreams. So guys, don't forget, be a regular. We're on the road to 800, brick by brick, rep by rep. Let's get it. That's the only thing needs to like do an official sponsorship. They do, don't they? Just turn it to me, I'll be like, <coughs> <laughs> Yeah, I will. I do it like right behind him. We got there, children. Mine. I'll tell you what you can do. Look, if I hold a donut up, can we get <laughs> he's, it? He's... Can we get it? I know, right? <laughs> can we get it out of focus and it comes into focus? What kind of donuts are those? Who should be sponsoring this? <clears throat> oh! Yep, I should be. Brick by brick. That's the only way to get there. From the starting line to the finish line. And no one gets there alone. I need your help to build the road to 800. Brick by brick. Believe in the impossible. Join me on Patreon.